thought after Adrian's tutorials, I would have a go at showing you how I draw arches in QCAD. You can see here, I've already drawn a little piece of brickwork up and a window, and I've drawn a center line here in the middle of the window, and I've also drawn here by eye where I want the first uh, brick on the left hand side of the arch. So, the first thing we need to do is lengthen this line. It doesn't matter how long, as long as it passes through the, our centre line. There you go. Now we need to uh, duplicate this line here. So we highlight this line. And we go to the mirror function. And we want to mirror it on the centre line. So if we just click on there somewhere, there, there. We'd like to keep the original, so OK. And there we have both lines. Now we'd need to draw the bottom part of the arch. We do that by clicking on this arc tool. We want this tool here. Click onto our intersection of our two lines in the middle. We go up, and I think I want that's it. I'm going to use this intersection here for the bottom part of my arch. I drag that across. Done. And you can see both sides, it matches exactly. And that's because we did it off the center line. Now, we'd like to do the second line here. We go to this tool here, and this tool, and you can set the distance you want the duplicate line away from the first line. I've already got five mils in here, which I think is about right. So we simply go over like this. So just above the line, you can see it puts the arch line in. If I click, it puts it there. If I go underneath, it'll bring the arch lower. So now we've done that, we need to work out um, how the, the spacings for the bricks here. Well, I know on my drawing, I've got nine bricks. So I need to fit nine bricks in there, but I don't know the width of the, the, the bricks need to be. So I need to measure this line. So click in here to highlight it, go to our ruler and use this symbol here and that tells us down here how long this line is. So we can see that's 13.37. So 13.37 divided by nine bricks is what, is what I want. It says that the answer here is 1.48 1, 1 for each brick width. So now, I put a circle in. 1.48 centering it here and that gives us our first brick width. So now to put the actual plot the actual bricks on here we go to this tool here to click on the bottom of the intersection so that's where the pivot point is. I've already got nine bricks in. We don't need to worry about the angle because we're going to set that by mouse. Click OK. So this is the line we want to duplicate. And this is where we want it to, to duplicate from. So by putting the circle there earlier, that gives us a intersection point. So now I've clicked on that. That's not done what I thought, so let's just do that again. Click here. Rotate. Intersection. Nine. Here. Ah. Okay sure what happened there. But as you can see, 
as soon as I get the mouse near that intersection, it snaps to it and it makes the bricks on the right hand side line up exactly. So we'll just press click there, that's done. And you can see I've got nine perfectly spaced bricks there. To get rid of these lines here, we go to our modification tool and we click this one, the auto trim, and you just click on the lines. And that takes away the lines we don't need. Use this tool. Okay. And then finally, just click on the circle and delete. And tidy up the rest of the lines. Click here. And that's how I draw.